kid, uh, Briante Weber on their team was really talking stuff to him. He's, he's played in the league, and I just think that's when you find out about a lot of people, you know, when you when, when a vet or whatever is talking, talking a lot of stuff. And I thought it was cool for him to just respond like that, you know. Um, it even made me mad. Like, I was... <laughs> We came to the huddle so and I drew up a play for him right away. Like, <laughs> attack that, you know. Um, so it was good. His response was awesome. Obviously, he played amazing. Um, he just showed a lot of his ability. Tim, thing with Keon, it seemed like getting a start tonight, he had an assist right from the jump. Like, really controlled like that. Yeah. It seemed like it seemed like you could really see the progress that Keon had made. Yeah, man, Keon has been so good. Um, he's he's taken his game. Uh, he's been very intentional about all the work that he's put in this summer. And uh, since camp is starting, Keon has been a, a, a bright spot for us, you know. So it's good to see him play well. I'm not surprised that he played well because he's he's this is kind of becoming uh, kind of normal for him. He's just he's just playing really well. Continuing the trend. Kind of guys step into it. The first two games, Nas looked like he was pressing a little bit tonight. Tonight, mm -hmm. he looked like he was. Mm -hmm. What we were more familiar with was that kind of part of the reason of getting him out there tonight, kind of getting him in the groove. Well, yeah. I mean, um, there was no way I wasn't going to get him in there. I mean, he's. I mean, he's goes seven months without playing basketball. You know. Um, and I don't want him to like get impatient with this process of him kind of getting back, you know, to where he left off last year. Cause he was playing amazing. Um, he was figuring a lot of things out when he left off, and it's easy to put a lot of pressure on yourself and feel like because you're back healthy, you're gonna just jump right back to where you were at, and it's not that easy. So I think reps for Nas is a bigger deal than for most people, you know. Um, so it was good to see him, you know, attack the basket and, you know, I've seen his confidence kind of grow a little bit tonight. Oh, uh, that's the plan right now. That's the plan right now. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but that's the plan for now. Do you like having a game like this for younger players, or would you prefer to have a fifth in the end of the season? If they're on one side where they feel like they're getting bullied. It's cool. I mean, the... the Preseason, you're not going to play your starters most of the time anyway. So it's cool to, you know, have a game where you can just play all the young guys and let them kind of do their thing and just kind of watch them and see, like, are they, is there, is there a carryover from the things that we've been talking about? Um, a game like this could get away from you and then you just start kind of just playing, you know. Um, I just was getting nervous. I mean, it was, they was just fouling every single play. Like, it was, like, y'all just be careful, man, you know. Um, so that's what you you get a little nervous about stuff like that. Chauncey, uh, I know they're, they're a little ways away, but having two guards like Keon and and Shaden, having that athleticism, what does that what does that do for a team to have a backcourt that has that level of athleticism? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a big deal. I mean, this game is 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 kind of young and athletic nowadays. So. Um, you know, both of those guys have, they got decent size, but that athleticism, you know, they play so much bigger than their stature. And what I love about both of them is their athleticism is on display every time they play. Um, so, you know, it's not like they have it and they don't use it, they use it. Um, and that's what we try to get out of them all the time. So it's good to see their confidence continuing to get better and better. With Shane's with Shane specifically, you were talking about carryover uh, for some of these young guys. Is the stuff he was doing tonight, is that all stuff that you are going to look at? I mean, obviously, you have to look at the film probably tomorrow, but is this all stuff you look at and say, this is all stuff that can carry over once you guys are actually playing an NBA team? Yeah, I think, um, you know, for him to get out there and do what he did tonight, um, more than anything, it gives him the confidence to try it, you know, when you play against uh, – these okay. NBA teams and whether it works or not, like had a confidence to try it, and he will. He has that type of confidence. Um, so, 
you know, okay. we'll, we'll look at the film and we'll watch a lot of things with him. Obviously, his shot making was really good. I'm on shading a lot. You know, so many of these things are so new for him defensively and, you know, different coverages for different people. And it's, it's going pretty quick for him. But on the offensive end tonight, obviously, things were, things slowed down for him.